Today's video is on reducing margin leverage when the market is at the highs. We earn over 100,000 per year in dividends at this channel, as you know, and that number has now decreased from 127 ish to 124 because I dumped a bunch of margin today since the market's at the highs. You can see my available draw has, has grown significantly. I was around 130 or 140, now I'm at 153. My net account value has stayed roughly the same, around 400,000. For every $1 you put in your account, as you know, you get four times purchasing power. So that's what I do at, at this channel. I use the power of margin to get extra income out of my names. And it also gives me extra performance. I'm up 31% for the year. The Dow's up two, the SP's up 14, and the NASDAQ's up 30%. So I'm beating all the indexes again. Yes, because Cornerstone has been strong. So I'm going to take you uh, item by item in my portfolio and show you what I did today to manage risk, to lower my debt, raise my bail full draw, and keep income relatively the same. Okay. So first of all, we have uh, we're we're up seventeen hundred today on a down day. We're up. Forget the money. We're up 028 percent when the market is down. As you can see, a percent up top. So. Uh, the SP is down 0.5, the NASDAQ is down 1%, the Dow is down 0.3. So we're up 0.28% today. <clears throat> Once again, it's due to Cornerstone, okay? 1% Cornerstone's up CRF. So this is the tech uh, Cornerstone. CRF is the NASDAQ version, and CLM is the is the value fund. And NASDAQ, the NASDAQ version was actually up today. That's how strong the Cornerstone funds can be. So we're up about... Looks like four thousand today in Cornerstone. How are we only up two thousand today in the account? Because uh, other parts of the portfolio were obviously down, including our yield max section, which, as you can see here, OARC was down two percent, Tesla was down four percent. So even with those being down five hundred and five hundred, roughly a thousand, we're still up for the day because of Cornerstone. <sighs> also, guys, let me catch my breath. Also. Um, Cornerstone has the lowest maintenance, and so that's what you're starting to find out is the key to my success, uh, my uh, success in margin, and not only my performance that I'm getting, but how I'm raising this available withdrawal, this equity number, because my yield max funds are 50% maintenance, but Cornerstone is 30% maintenance. So for every thirty, for every one thousand dollars I put in Cornerstone, three hundred dollars is taken up in equity. That's very important when you're running margin. If you need help with understanding margin maintenance, email me for my e-guides at akintodd48 at gmail.com. So once again, I'm in these lower maintenance names like Cornerstone. Cornerstone, look at the price. It's $7.80. But look at my uh, these prices, $6 here, the NAV prices. These are purchased for me every month through the company. They reinvest my 21% dividend here at 627 at the end of the month. So that's <clears throat> a 24% gain there. 660, 18% gain. 633 right here, 23% gain. So Cornerstone is the key to uh, my outperformance today. And of course, I didn't sell from that. Today's video is on how to sell and, and, and lower margin leverage while keeping your performance and your income elevated. So if you need help with playing Cornerstone, email, email me for my e-guides at akintodd48 at gmail.com. Uh, Cornerstone is my favorite fund, but you have to learn how to play it. it. You have to buy before the rights offering, sell before the rights offering, buy back after the rights offering. Also, you have to ask for the special drip in Cornerstone. So what else did we do today in the portfolio? I sold half of many other things. I sold half of none of my none of my yield max funds, but I sold uh, I dumped five k of Gof, I uh, dumped um, let's see half five uh, k of Jeppy, I dumped half of my uh, I dumped ten k of USA, five k of Pty, five k of BST. So I dumped all these positions, and then I added back to UPro and TQQ at the end of the bell today because the market was down. So I added back to these triples because for every 300, every 3,000 I sell out of, let's say, BST, right? BST is a single, single leveraged. So for every 3,000 I sell out of BST, I put back 1,000 in TQQ because 1,000, TQQ is a triple. So if I put 1,000 in TQQ, that's like 3,000 in BST. So that's what I did. I, I sold everything at the beginning of the day. All of these alerts are on my trading recap channel at my Discord channel. 
If you bought my e-guides already, then you get free access to my Discord channel. Just head over there. Email me if you uh, want me to send you the link to that. Uh, if you just want my Discord alerts separately, like my Cornerstone Rights Offering alerts or uh, my Trading Recap alerts, uh, I'll just link that on my Patreon. Uh, I'll, I'll link my Patreon in the description below, okay? So uh, also sold the rest of, um, uh, like I told you, sold some half of BST, also sold half of RYLD here. Okay, so that lowered my margin from from 275 roughly to 245. Okay, because I also remember added back to UPRO and TQQ into the close. I also closed a lot of these puts here for gains. So we realized uh, about $800 in gains today, which is not really my favorite thing to do, honestly. I mean, you love to sell things at gains, but you don't want to have to pay taxes. So I like to actually sell things at losses where I can and keep the income and the gains and the shares that I don't sell. Keep those, keep that income, keep those higher, ta uh, those, those higher paying dividend shares and the gains and sell from the losses and the lower paying dividend shares. So anyway, that's what I did today to manage risk guys. Okay. My estimated income is still over a hundred thousand. It's still over 120,000, which gives me about 10,000 per month. That's going to then pay down my margin in, in less than three years. My margin debt is 240000 as you can see. I'm also working on getting another loan right now since I've been building good credit with my other loans. I'm looking at taking out another loan, and that's how you really level up. When you give yourself a pay advance on these dividend funds for the year, they give you qualifying income for the banks. This is very important. It's like a house. When you take out, when you, when you buy a new house and you put a renter in, the renter collect. Uh, pays you that income, and then that acts as qualifying income on the next piece of real estate because you have a renter in on the first piece of real estate. So I'm using the same concepts from real estate, but for qualifying income and dividends, and this has given me the ability to take out loans. So I'm looking at a personal loan right now, and uh, that'll lower my margin even further to about, uh, if, it, if it's a 30K loan, to about 215000 and then I also have here, because the market's at the highs, I also have these names here ready to sell, about 30 k that I can take off immediately, uh, starting from, from ZTR here. From ZTR on down, 3,000, 3,000, you can add it all up. And it's about 30,000 more that I can dump and not lose much income in the process because they're, I have small amounts in those. So you always have that ready. You have... Your certain stocks on the chop block that you're ready to sell because the market's at the highs. I mean, I can show you really quickly, if you don't mind, a chart of the S&P. Uh, the market's had a, a big run, especially the NASDAQ. So we're here in the S&P. Look, that's a, that's a rather large run, okay? To me, it looks like we could be seeing signs of a short-term peak. I'm not bearish right now or anything. I'm, I'm never bearish. I always stay invested long-term. But we could be looking at a peak here. So let's just look at a one-year chart we're overbought on the rsi the gray area when this gray area gets hit usually you see falls in the market see right there fall sub, consequent fall there in the market here we're at the overbought we're at the highs on the rsi and another high in the market so we're there again if you need help with how to read charts and you know uh, understanding technical analysis i also have e-guides on those um, email me at uh, akintosh48 at gmail.com if you want e-guides on technical analysis. But I see the RSI is overbought. The MACD is about to cross. Whenever these cross, cross, it's bearish. You see the, the, stock, the stock falls and uh, falls suit. Whenever the MACD crosses to the downside, stocks fall to the downside. So it, it's just looking pretty toppy. And when we get near this 40 level, this $40 level, this RSI level, then I'll look at buying some more stock again and raising my margin up. So that's why I'm bearish short term on the market. And I dumped a bunch of margin today. And I have, I told you, another 30K of margin ready to dump. It's also going to raise a lot of available for withdrawal. When this number gets to zero, you're in a margin call. So anyway, uh, Cornerstone was strong today. Our estimated income is still strong, even though we took a hit in that because we lowered margin, but we lowered the margin at a gain. That's the name of the game. That's what you want to do. And we close our options at a gain. If you want a more thorough explanation of all my moves today, again, head over to my trading recap channel and, and I give you those explanations. But if not, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Just managing risk. This is how you lower your margin debt while keeping your income about the same and keeping and then raising your available withdrawal 
also while keeping your long exposure on because I added back to the triples into the close. So I added into UPRO and TQQ into the close. Uh, slowly, um, I want to get aggressive back into these as the market falls. For every 3,000 I sell of a single, I can buy 1,000 of a triple, remember, and that gets me back the same exposure to the upside. So I keep capturing that performance, but I lower my margin by two thirds uh, as a result. So I, I hope none of this is confusing. Email me at akintop 48 if you have further questions on how I use margin or how I trade Cornerstone, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.